Hello again, everybody. It is a beautiful day here, April 15th. Um, <clears throat> happy Easter. I have a exciting little tidbit in Symbols and Saints for you today. So we're gonna head into the basement of the church. No, I have to go in, I have to go in the other way with the key because everything's locked. Um, but an exciting little thing about a saint who was born in Bohemia. Um, and then was a priest in Prague. Anyhow, it's a stained glass window down, down in the basement. And it's exciting because I've never heard of this saint before. And sometimes, you know, as a priest, you come across saints you don't know. But not usually in stained glass windows of churches, especially churches in America. You know, like it's one thing if you're reading a biography of somebody and they mention some saint you've never heard of. You're like, okay, all right. But... But a stained glass window of your own church, that's pretty surprising. So I'll go show you the window and then tell you a bit about his life. Okay, so here we are in the little meeting room at Christ the King in the basement, Engel Hall. Okay, and, and this is the saint that I'm going to show you today. There he is with his finger over his mouth there. All right, and there is his name, Saint John, and then who the heck knows what it is? <laughs> who knows? At first I thought, is it John the Baptist? No, obviously not. It looks like Thomas More, you know, dressed as a chancellor. No. Um, could it be John of Damascene? Nope. It won't work. Uh, John... I had no idea. I thought, who, who is this saint? And plus, these letters are so hard anyway that you're always second guessing what the letters actually are. So I ended up just typing in N-E-P-O-M into Google, and then he came up. So let me set up this camera and I'll give you a, just a little biography on his life. Okay, so I went on the Catholic Encyclopedia uh, online and just looked up who the saint was. So his name is John, as we saw, John of Pomic or Nepomic, Nepomic, N-E-P-O-M-U-K. So K and C, you know, they can, they can be interchanged. So on the stained glass window, we have N-E-P-O-M-U-C. In any case, uh, he was born in 1940, died 19... Sorry, died 1393, born in Bohemia, but spent most of his life in Prague. He studied law there, he became a priest there, and eventually he was the vicar general of the Archdiocese of Prague. So, why is he a saint? Well, there's two, there's two main stories, and they're not, they're not positive if there was one and the same saint that both these stories belong to, or if there were two different saints. But the two, the two stories are that, or the two accounts really, we have the historical documents for, for these events, is that the king at the time, King Wenceslas IV of Bohemia, who was not a good King Wenceslas, this man was, was vicious, he was ruthless. He wanted to turn an, uh, an abbey, a monastery, <clears throat> into a bishopric, so into like the, the head of a diocese, so that he could name a bishop for that diocese. He could make one of his, his friends, clerical friends, a bishop. But it's, that goes against canon law. So because John of Nepomuk was the vicar general, he was in charge of overseeing some of those canonical issues, the canon law issues of the day. So when the king proposed this, the vicar general, St. John, <clears throat> he said, no, that's, that, won't, that won't fly, no go, it's no go. So the king, in retaliation, arrested St. John, had him tortured with some other people that had opposed the king, and then eventually executed him uh, by drowning. He took him to, to the river and had him drowned. So that's one account of the, of the cause of the death, the, you know, the problem at issue. The other, <clears throat> the other account is that St. John, so as I said, perhaps a different one, but 
but quite possibly the same, was the confessor, so the priest who heard the confession of the queen of King Wenceslas, and that at a certain point, the king was suspicious of what his wife was up to, so he asked St. John, hey, hey, you're the confessor, you know what my wife is up to, fill me in, why don't you? And, and so the saint, St. John, he said, no, that would break the seal of confession. I can't, I can't reveal any of the sins from the confession and tell you, you know, this is what your wife did. <clears throat> can't do it, can't do it. So the king in retaliation had him, had him executed by drowning. So in both cases, we have an execution, <clears throat> an execution by drowning. So it's just about the, the motivation for that execution that we have two separate accounts for. And who knows, it could, it could very well be, the, be the, same, the same person. So in any case, we have, we have this saint, St. John of, hopefully I'm saying this right, of Nepomek, who, is, who showed courageous fortitude in the face of threats of the king and stood up for the rights of canon law, the rights of bishops, and the seal of the confession. So that's the reason why I presume here in the stained glass window, that St. John is shown with the finger up to his mouth. It's a reference to, it, it's got to be, a reference to the seal of the confession and the fact that he can't reveal those secrets to anybody. Least of all, least of all the king who's wheedling for that information. So there you have it. A saint, not well known, very, very little known I would say here in the stained glass window at Christ the King.